Hey guys, what is going on? Dylan here. Instead of this week in Destiny in a minute, we're just going to kind of break down and go through it. I got about halfway through it. I just went, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to read through the information, try to quickly scroll through it as fast as possible. I don't know how long this is going to take, but I'm going to try to do it as quickly as possible. Okay. So first thing on the list, bunch of recap stuff for the uh, Into the Light live stream that just happened. If you didn't see any of it, we're getting two reprise exotic missions. It's going to be the Whisper and Zero Hour. Um, yes, the Whisper and the Whisper of the Worm and Outbreak Perfected are both going to be crafted. Uh, they'll have some new options available if you didn't see that. We're also getting a couple reprised ships. Uh, they did on the live stream show us three of the new uh, PvP maps: Europa, Neomuna, and the Terraform Pyramid Ship, or Root of Nightmares, is what I was. Calling it, but Neo Muna so far looks my favorite. Looks like something straight out of Halo Reach. Character recustomization and renaming. You can rename your character April 9th. Uh, I'm excited for that because we're going to probably go with uh, Sheebs instead of Dylan 221. And then character recustomization. Um, that's also a big deal. I know a lot, of, a lot of people are excited for that. Why that wasn't included day one is beyond me. Either way, uh, Pantheon was teased. It's going to be a raid like activity where it's going to be weekly challenges taking on a raid boss. There's not a lot. That is known about it, so I'm sure more information will come out about that soon. Uh, they're changing the New Light tutorial experience, but I'm going to get to that in a second. There's a lot more information below. Uh, April 9th, the same day that Into the Light is released, they're doing a live stream to show some Final Shape... Um, gameplay and talk about things coming up for the final shape that's april 9th at 9 30 a.m and of oh, pacific time and of course you get a emblem for watching it this time you only have to watch for 15 minutes and you can earn progress on the those who held dear and echo diamond if you have not received those yet either some pvp changes in comp they are taking out survival and countdown rush and they're putting in clash and collision which i'm actually really excited for that's awesome and they are doing the ammo crate system now um i actually didn't know about this until i started reading this i didn't know that they were switching over to an ammo crate system uh in trials they're going to be doing three weeks worth of trials so First week of trials is going to be unrestricted, where there's going to be four ammo crates that spawn uh, with special ammo in those. And then, yes, you drop it on death. Um, and then second week is going to be restricted, where it's going to have only two ammo crates. And then the final week, we're going back to the, the way that it is now, where you're slowly gaining progress on that meter. Uh, not swap improvement. So they did a thing where they didn't like people using pro uh, special ammo in like the first round. And then they would just switch to primary, which is what makes sense. And I... I did it myself, but they're making a, an adjustment to that. So if you swap, so for example, if you swap conditional finality to Eye of Soul, so a, a, a kinetic uh, slot special to another kinetic slot special, you do not lose any energy. You don't take any sort of penalty. But if you were to switch from a special weapon to a primary weapon, you're going to lose ability energy to kind of counteract that. So, I mean, I get it. It makes sense. I'm sure some people are probably not going to be happy about that, but I, I get it. It makes sense. They implemented this change and it didn't. It didn't really change a whole lot. Um, two changes that came out in 7.3.5 that were intended for 7.3.6. Uh, some changes to competitive point systems. I'm, I'll let you read that right now. And then uh, trials. They want you to only get the trials weapon of the week. So if the Adip, for the example they use here is if the Adip weapon is the summoner, they want you to only get the uh, the summoner from rewards from from winning games uh some changes to weapons uh breach loaded grenade launchers they want to make those more usable so they're getting increased impact damage of 40 percent and then uh they're reducing disorienting grenades uh like the the aoe of it um lightweight bows they're getting another increase of six percent I guess they kind of over nerf those. This one we knew about 450 rpm auto rifles that one is getting a five percent debuff not debuff uh Nerf. Keep saying debuff. Uh, hand cannons. They're making a change to hand cannons, uh, particularly with explosive payload perks on adaptives. Um, but they're making a few adjustments and boost. Uh, they're boosting 180 RPMs and uh, adaptive 140 frames. Um, which you know, where to crota 180. Let's go. Uh, pulse rifles are getting a bit of, of a change. Lightweight, adaptive, and rapid fires. So uh, re let's read that. Scout rifles and shotguns. Now for the exotics. Whisper of Worm is getting increased reserve ammunition from 18 to 24. 1,000 voices is going from 7 to 11. Uh, and now this is where I read and I haven't read anymore. So Quicksilver Storm is one of the top PvE performing weapons. And the time has come to dial it back a little. So we're getting a little bit of a nerf. Uh, to Quicksilver Storm. Increased shots to trigger by 50% reduced grenade area. Oh, just on the grenades and stuff. Okay, that's not too bad. Last word, increased damage by 6%. Um, don't know how you feel about that. Forerunner inadvertently received the primary ammo side of uh, arm critical damage bonus. We fixed that issue, increased its base damage to compensate. Okay, so they're nerfing headshot damage for Forerunner, 
which is definitely needed. You three tap with Forerunner, and they're increasing the base damage of body shots by 6%, but I don't know if that's going to kill it. It might kill Forerunner. We'll see. Recluse is back, Master of Arms. Uh, so we're getting a change to Master er, Master of Arms is coming back, Magnificent Howl is coming back, Micro Missile is coming back. So this is all just the new stuff that we're getting with Into the Light on April 9th. Um, reduced Strand Fragments. Wait, Crucible only changes. Flinch can have randomizing effects on duels, so increase the reward for skilled go. We've reduced flinch on primary weapons across the board. Ooh, I like that. Uh, Sunshot became unforgiving with the new sandbox. Increased precision damage by 11% on Sunshot. Ooh. Wish Ender's exit damage was dealing too much, so we've adjusted the weapon's base damage to compensate. So Wish Ender's getting another nerf. Okay, uh, reduced strand fragments, so they're making it easier to get all the strand stuff. That makes sense ahead of, uh, of the new um, final shape, new uh, expansion. Uh, new light tutorial, skip a new light. So they're basically, let's just, they're making it to where if you want to skip the tutorial, if you want to skip all the new light crap and just go straight into the game, they're making it easier so you can just do that, play with your friends. I guess they're anticipating or wanting a lot of new players to start playing um, Destiny. That's my assumption. That's why they're making it just easier across the board for the new light campaign, which is definitely needed because the new light campaign was not great. It's not good. They, I would much rather them just make change, like put it back to Red War campaign. Just make a, some adjustments to that or something. I don't know what, but it, it's not great. Um, and then there, uh, each new light kit contains two legendary weapons, one exotic, four rare armor pieces, and a legendary class item. Subclass abilities such as for aspects and fragments. I might look into that a little bit because I'm curious about that. So, I'm a, so tools for the job to help bring the. So you get so basically just a new a new class gets a uh, new light kit. Cool. All right. Wallpapers. Cool. Update the default chat experience. Uh, so they're making changes there. You can go ahead and read that. I really don't care about that. Iron Banner returns. If you have not, I did a video on Tusk of the Boar and the Multimock CCX. Those are on my channel now. If you want to know a little bit about those weapons, they are freaking awesome. Onslaught Legend Challenge. With the release of Destiny 2 into the light comes a new PvE wave-based defense activity. Onslaught. Celebrate the release. We're looking to reward Guardians who are among the first to conquer the mode on its highest difficulty. <laughs> Gotta do that. Um, and Shaxx's helmet. All right, cool. That is all we got. That was the weekly update breakdown. Um, weekly update. The This Week in Destiny breakdown. Um, next week, as long as it's good and there's actually information, we'll go back to the This Week in Destiny in a minute format. That's all we got. Love you guys. I will talk to you all later. Have a good one.